All right, so we're here in Montreal at the Bell Center. Um, just about to go in, there's a show going on. So why don't you come see our box where me and Jay hang out, watch all the Habs games and all the concerts come to town. All right, it's right over here. All right, this is our box. Check this out. All right, cut some bass here. Fucking peanut, beat that thing! Here we go, that's track and bass, ladies. Alright, so this is how you track guitars. You just saw a bass, and uh, that's how you do guitars. That's guitars! Yeah! Guitars! <laughs> Alright, so, I decided to, um, whoop, oh, a little bit of a fucking, hang on. So this is me driving home after doing vocals, um, 2.20 on August 5th, officially. And I'm driving through the streets of Montreal. Actually, I'm driving on the highway, Highway 20. If you've ever been to Montreal, it's a beautiful city. It's pretty much what happens. Um, I get home from doing vocals usually at around three in the morning. I get up and go to my job at about 7.30 and uh, pretty much sucks ass. That's dedication, man. I find that uh, ever since I started doing this Slaves on Dope thing again, my, um, my creativity has just completely come back. And it's a strange situation to be in where you've stifled your creativity for so many years. I, uh, I found out that I was going to have a baby in 2003. My girlfriend and I were pregnant with my son and uh, it was pretty weird. You know, it's a scary thing when you're going to have a kid. and It makes you put a lot of your priorities or so-called priorities on hold. It makes you actually shift priorities and shift your focus on what really matters in your life. So definitely having a baby has changed me. Um, I have two babies, a little boy and a little girl, and uh, they're pretty much the most important thing in my life. But once they start to grow up, and once they start to become their own people, you start to realize that you gotta satisfy what matters to you. Um, obviously, Slaves on Dope was a big part of my life, and to just ignore it for as long as I did, well, it wasn't the best thing to do. But Luckily, Kev got me to come into the studio one night and said, Hey, um, I got this band that wants you to come sing on the record. And I said, All right, why not? Went in, did it, loved it. Realized, hey, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So here we are doing another dope record. And it's pretty cool. It's coming along really well. And these webisodes are a blast. Gives us a chance to, uh, you know, have some fun, be stupid. I know I'm not the most serious when I'm doing these, but you know, it 
it's a fun band to be in. It always has been. And uh, we're really happy to be able to document this process. We've never been able to do that before. And to be able to bring it to you every week on the uh, on the internet. It's pretty cool. So uh, thanks for listening, and I'm going to be going to sleep. We'll see you soon.